Hey guys, me Beelot here, and today we are playing Silver Creek Falls Chapter 1. This is an indie game on Steam, and it's free, so, you know, why not? Alright, new game. And we wait. So yeah, this is supposed to be like a detective kind of RPG game. So, alright, Captain Pendleton's office in, in Virginia? Okay, Virginia. Captain Pendleton, detective of us, uh, scare Fitzgerald reporting for Ah, Fitzgerald. Like, uh, Great Gatsby. Okay. Ah, oh, you're the transfer from Boston. Pleasure to meet you, detective. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's already there, so. I mean, you guys can read. You're not dumb. Unless you're blind, then you can't read. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll figure something out for you later. <laughs> well, let's see. If you're blind, you wouldn't be watching videos in the first place, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Do blind people watch YouTube videos? That is an interesting question. Uh, be your new partner. Well, that's a pleasure to meet you. Who? Hey, how you doing? Uh, comes all the way from us as transfer. All the way from. Oh, dang. So the blonde dude's from England. Dang. I wish there was some voice acting. I want to hear some of that uh, British accent. You know. <laughs> Make an excellent team with extensive experience in homicide, missing persons between you. I think this new case will be right up your alley. Cool, what's happening? Wait, what? Cool, what's happening? Is that what police officers actually say? Or detectives or whatever? Cool, what's happening? That sounds like a really casual thing. Like you're just meeting up with someone for lunch. Like a childhood friend or something. Whatever. I've had a strange request coming from a small town called Silver Creek Fall. <gasps> That's the name of the game. <gasps> okay. They need some detectives to help solve this case. It's baffling with local sheriff. All right, Silver Creek Falls. Never heard of it. Where is it? Not really surprisingly, it's a oh, it's a small town, North Carolina. All right, North Carolina. Shouldn't they send someone from Durham or Charlotte? I guess those places are closer. All right, Norfolk's actually closer. Wouldn't believe. It. How could I deny them a Massachusetts State Trooper and an inspector from Scotland Yard? Oh, wait. How do you get these two to like meet up? I know he's it's for a case, but like. They just go like, yo, come over here and do this case for me so I look extra good on my resume. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird that uh, he's able to bring these two together. Especially with a guy from Scotland and a state trooper from Massachusetts. Like, how does that happen? Like, I'm really interested to see how that happened. Alright, so what are the details of the case? I think it's best you let the local sheriff explain to you. And I'll be heading over there, stay a few nights to solve the case. All this courtesy of Hawthorne County. Nice. <laughs> Wait, what's in this facial expression? <laughs> it's like... Must be quite a sticky case. This facial expression is amazing. I'm pretty sure that has not happened before. This is like the first time I've seen this facial expression. What? That's so weird. Okay. Alright. All, all, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, local sheriff's quite a famous lawman. When you put a request to high commissioner, commissioner says, "I give them so oh some." Okay, I see, I see. That's how they got together. We won't let you down, Captain. You two can go home, pack your bags, and drive over Silver Creek Falls tonight. Local W will receive you in the Oklahoma. Meet him at the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. Wow, the hotel is so good; it's named after the town. We're on, it, Captain. Sarah, yes. Do you mind driving us there? Still haven't gotten used to driving on this side. <laughs> oh, I get it. Cause in England, you're driving the left, you're driving the left side, and you're dri and you sit in the right side of the car. But it's flip flop in America. I got your back. I got you. Sure, we'll take my car. All right. Four hours later. <laughs> All right. All right. Finally, we get to actually play the game instead of pushing enter. Uh, arrow keys to move. Space enter. Select to use. And escape is menu inventory. Pay attention to all the clues and information you find in every place you visit. Look at your inventory if you need to review things. Alright, so this game is a mystery adventure. Details from investigations and the story are essential to always pay attention. Details from investigation are essential? Okay, okay. We, we gotta investigate everything, guys. Come on. Anything could lead to a good clue. How, how, about, the, how about the flowers over here? Do, do, they, do they have any information? How about the trees? I've asked, I should ask the plants. See what they know. Yo, hey tree, you got anything? How, how about the police car? Maybe there's a handprint on there or something. We should cross the road without looking. That car's are totally gonna hit us. 
We're, we should always look on the left and right side of the road, kids. Don't forget that. Wait, can I? Oh, shift is run. Cool. They should have told me that when I was like... When they were showing all the controls, they should have just said, like, shift is run. Wait, is there anything secret up here? Ooh. Okay, I guess not. Alright. Guess we should just head into the hotel. I guess there's not... Okay, objective find Debbie Hill in the hotel lobby. Okay, I'm guessing this is the hotel. So, let's go on in. Oh, hi. You must be the deputy. What is it? I'm not... Is that a deputy hat? I'm a little hesitant. It looks like a... It reminds me of, like, the pilgrims or something. Like, those old... Like, the picture books they show for, like, how Thanksgiving came to be and the pilgrims were wearing, like, belt belts on their hats. And it's always like a black hat. That's what it looks like. That's what the deputy is wearing. I don't know. I haven't seen enough deputies to know if that's a deputy hat, but I'll I'll assume that they're correct. Deputy Hill. So wait, his name is Hill? Deputy Hill? Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yep, you two must be the extra muscle. We request pleasure to meet you. Yes, we are. I'm Detective Sarah Fistra. This is Inspector Philip Moore. It's a pleasure, mate. <laughs> okay. Boy, am I glad you two are here. Some really strange things have been happening here. Captain has told us anything either. What's going on? You two have had a long drive over. So, uh, get a good sleep. I'll tell you about it. Alright, procrastinating. I see. I see. You want to procrastinate? It? That's alright. Get some good sleep tonight. Whilst you can. Interesting. Okay, I promise you after you see the file, you won't be able to. Uh, no, I sh Okay. Okay then, just want to came to welcome, make sure you're over. okay. So he just wanted to welcome us. He's like, okay, hey, welcome, welcome to uh, welcome to our humble town. By the way, you're not gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> or the next night, actually. All right, just mosey, o mosey on over to the concierge. This guy has a very formal manner of speech that is rather unusual. It seems to fluctuate as well. Um. Let's say 8 a.m. Perfect. See you then, deputy. All right. Yeah. So far, what I'm getting on the game is that the language is a little. Uh, how do I say it? Like it switches between formal and informal rather often, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I. I okay. How should I say this? It's not gonna kill the game if it's switching between formal and informal, but. I mean, it's it's like, it. Uh, how do I say? It? Oh, I'll, I'll figure out a way to say it. Can I can I inspect the TV? Guess not. Okay, so. Uh, oh man, I think the socks. <laughs> the socks are having a game tonight. Sorry, I knew we'd leave it on the news channel for our guests. So as that TV doesn't have. <laughs> That's awesome. The fact that they have dialogue for actually looking at the TV, that's cool. It's, it's nice where you have like small, small snippets of dialogue, especially dialogue like that, just to show the, the feeling of the character that you're playing as. You know, because I mean, like, if you're just like, oh, this is the main character, you play as this person, whatever, you know, to always check in. But I'm, I like the, how they have dialogue, just like when you're interacting with objects, so you kind of reveal a little bit of their personality. That's cool. Here are your room keys, all the way to the left. I'll think I have a drink before I sleep. I'm tired from the drive. I think I'll head up. Sorry, I made you drive. Still haven't learned all that. I don't drive the side of the road yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, he, his portrait looks mad. And the fact, <laughs> combined with the exclamation mark, it's not like he's saying it like really angry. Like, I'm oh, sorry I made you drive all the way. I'm still haven't learned to drive on the side of the road. This makes him sound like angsty. <laughs> yeah, it still looks like an angry face. <laughs> oh, whatever. And then he leaves. <laughs> like, he's like furious. He's like, well, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go on my drink now. <laughs> oh, man. Doors locked. Okay. I know it's supposed to be on the left side, but I, I just want. You gotta investigate everything, you know? You gotta investigate everything. This is my room. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, what I was saying about English and stuff. So, like. Good grammar? It's like icing on the cake, I think. So like, if you don't have good grammar in a game, that's alright. We As long as we can understand you fine, that's all, that's all good, you know, but... 
good grammar, it's, it just makes the experience like a little bit better, like a little more smooth. So it's not like a make or break thing for a game, but I feel like good grammar is respectable for a game. Especially when a lot of uh, indie gamer, indie developers are, don't have English as a first language. It's like if you have like good English, it's a plus. Okay, let's do this. Red Sox time. Oh, nuts. It's over. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> At least the Red Sox won. Might as well go to bed now. All right. Let's head on to bed. Do you want to go to sleep for today? Uh, yes. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Day two. Wow, it's all in caps. Okay. All right. What's on the TV? I think the Bruins are playing later. Where's the Patriots? Either way, I know Boston's got it. Nice. Okay. Okay, so we're around like 11 minutes in. It's pretty good. We're on day two. I guess we can leave uh, day two for the next video. So this is Silver Creek Falls, um, chapter one, as it's called. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace out. Bye-bye.